Today on UI7 Newsbreak, Railroad Awareness Week is in full effect, gas prices are beginning to fall back, learning Spanish is starting early, and the apple orchards is affected by the weather. Your UI7 Newsbreak starts now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio at the University of Illinois campus, this is your UI7 News Break, your U of I news source. Good morning, I'm Ralph Cooper. Welcome to UI7 News Break. Feeling the need to not stop for those flashing railroad lights? Well, during Illinois Railroad Awareness Week, expect to receive your citation. The Champaign and State Police Department are posted at the railroad crossing at Bradley and Oak Street, watching for those who trespass on the tracks where the train is coming. Even though vehicles are the primary focus, pedestrians and bikes are also being watched, particularly. The citations that are being issued may seem like punishment, but Illinois State Police Tracy Lillard feels there is a lesson to be learned from train's going to win and you need to make sure that even if the train appears to be traveling at a slow rate of speed you're not going to beat the train so it's not worth it it's not worth their life um, to, to come around those tracks when the gate's down gas prices in champagne or banner are beginning to fall after jumping roughly 20 cents per gallon over the last month the fall is typical with the end of the summer driving season According to AAA, 34.7 million Americans hit the road this past Labor Day weekend, a number we haven't seen since 2008. As the fall season begins, people can expect to spend a little less money at the park. Fall has officially started, and for most people, that means it's time to pick apples. But they may have to wait a little bit longer this year. Nothing says fall more than these guys. At Curtis's Orchard, kids and their parents could be seen everywhere, pulling wagons and filling their bags. Even though the long winter delayed this year's harvest, Chris Curtis says the yields are still above average for the 2014 season. Good. You did it. Gently, gently put it in. No problem. So the crop, yeah, is just uh, tremendously late this year. We're okay with that. Uh, we just ask our customers to be patient, and uh, they'll be rewarded eventually. We've actually picked apples since I was a little kid. Um, so, um, if, you, if we have a place to pick apples, we might as well pick them. Imagine being five or six years old and not being able to speak your first language in the classroom. Well, with the new teacher from Spain, kids at Caspers Park Elementary School are learning how to get by without English. UI7 Newsbreak's Ashley Cooley has the story. For the first time in Wyoming history, students are being taught Spanish in kindergarten and first grade. These 40 students are being taught in English for half of the day and Spanish the other half. They don't do this at every school, so I'm lucky to do be doing this. Saul Rodriguez arrived to Park Elementary from Spain right before the first day of school. Although he is a long way from home, he couldn't be happier in Wyoming and teaching young children. Mi parte favorita. Trabajar con los niños. Me gusta mucho Wyoming y me gusta mucho Casper. Although Senor Rodriguez is fluently bilingual, in the classroom he prefers Spanish. Solamente puedo hablar con ellos en español para que ellos aprendan a hablar español y cambien del inglés al español. Porque es muy importante que hagan el esfuerzo para hablar español. Better time to learn a foreign language than at a very young age. The kids le learn so easy and so fast that it's just amazing. They can learn whatever. So that is not an exception with languages. Being a kindergartner in a Spanish class can be daunting. I just keep encouraging on my side of it as it's you might not know it now, but in a few months you're going to know everything he's saying and how cool is that that you get to have a second language. <laughs> Pelo, cabeza. And the parents love to see their children learning a new language. She um, was wiggling her fingers and saying manos, and that was, uh, I don't know, it's exciting to see the connection happen for her. I'm Ashley Cooley, UI7 News Break. That's all the time I have for today. I'm Ralph Cooper, and this has been your UI7 News Break. Have a great day.